the final lesson that I'm going to show on cross stitch unless somebody requests something specific is how you can finish your work once you've got your project completed and you know all the strings are off the back and everything looks nice then what I do is I will hand wash it in a mild soap and water solution I let it soak a little bit to get all the oils from your fingers off your fabric and also that brightens up your embroidery floss colors because it also gets the oils off the embroidery floss. Once that's done, you let it dry and then you should always iron it, but iron it from the back and make sure when you iron it, it's not distorted. You want to iron it to where it's nice and straight. So if you have to get some kind of a ruler or a piece of cardboard or a mat board to line it up to make sure it's exactly square before you iron it, that will be great because then you have a nice, smooth, crisp, sharp looking piece of work. The next thing you want to do is mount it. Now there's something called a sticky back board. Unfortunately, this is already stuck, but it has a piece of uh, paper that you peel off and then this part is tacky. So you would lay your fabric on your tacky board, make sure it's nice and straight and square. Once you do that, then you have your option of matting it. You can either mat it with a single mat. If it's a standard size mat, most craft stores will have standard size mat in their framing department. Or you can do a double mat where you can put two, one on top of the other, which gives it a really nice, more professional finish. And after you do that, then of course you frame it. And same as before, if it is a standard size, you can pick a frame out of their frame department. If not, you can always go to the desk and they will help you pick framing and matting and they will frame it, mount it, and mat it for you. Then once that's done, you bring it home and hang it up. Don't forget to sign your work. Unfortunately, I signed mine down here. You can't see it. The best place to sign is back here. Put your name and the date it finished the project because that way you'll always know when you did it and who did it. And then you have your leftover pattern. All your pattern pieces, your picture, your graph, your chart. Now, what do you do with this? Well, a lot of people throw it away. Unfortunately, I won't throw it away, uh, especially this one. I love this one. I wouldn't mind making it again, or if a friend of mine would like to make it, I can let her borrow it, and then she can make it. And then sometimes something can happen to your work, and maybe these threads get broken out before you have a chance to mat it. If you've got your pattern, you can go back and actually see where these individual threads are attached to your work and what color they are. So it's always nice to hang on to these either forever or for a certain length of time until you know for sure you don't need them anymore. It was fun talking with you. It was fun showing you my craft. I do have other crafts that I can do lessons on, but for now this will be the last one for a little while. Have a good day and happy stitching.